widen our entrance because we're going to we're planning on bringing our fifth wheel over here and of course our fifth wheel is 43 foot long like 44 between there and so we actually need to widen this area and this is something that we weren't 100 percent sure that we would be able to do um we had the option to inherit this mini excavator and also the 4x4 when we purchased the lot and we didn't even know if we can use them all we know is we needed them and we would make them work and so here eric is literally grading a road and he's never done that before we're from flat florida we've never had to do this before so that's just what we're working on now just widening the entrance to the property so we can bring our fifth wheel through just to be working with that view is also just like a bonus for us So when we come in from the bridge with the RV, we're going to have to make a pretty deep turn. We're going to have to move this gas tank out of here and get the road to connect that way. So that's what we've been working on here. We switched our gears into prepared to come here full time because once we get here full time with our RV, we can work on the property nonstop. We're going to soon be building some tiny homes. I know you guys are excited to see what we come up with for our rentals. But right now, the important part is going to be us getting into the property. Alright guys, so Eric is actually trying to dig into our roadway a little bit because we actually just wanted to see if we can grade out our road a little bit better. So I'm going to go and see if he was able to get anything moved. Is that where you're hitting rock? Well, he hit some rock right here which is fine because the previous owner told us that there was possibly rock underneath the driveway. That's why he didn't go any further. But we just want to see how far we can get this leveled out. We're making a little headway with moving on from just cleaning now. We're grading and getting ready to move our fifth wheel in here. So guys, this is how we basically widened our road and got it to get more compact and a little bit more easier to drive. Eric basically took our little mini excavator and scaled back our bank to pull some dirt out. And the whole way along, he just drug that dirt and basically um, tried to compact it and flatten it out best he could. And we left for lunch and came back and it was so much better than what it was driving in here this morning just because we were able to level out some spots that were low, cover up some of the rock that was exposed. As you guys can tell, we have come a far way from the front of the property. Eric is now almost done with grading the road. He has made it from the bridge at the entrance all the way back almost to the kitchen area. And I'm so excited because now we can move on to something else. 
it has been so tiresome just sitting here watching him play on the excavator having all this fun and I'm just sitting on the side moving sticks and stones and breaking my bones <laughs> but yeah guys we're almost done This is a really important moment for us because we are hooking up our trailer to take over to our property. Now, when we first came to North Carolina, we immediately found a campground and we put our RV there. However, they could not keep our trailer over there, so we had to find storage for the trailer. We have had our trailer with all of our tools and all of the things we love because, of course, you guys know we love renovating and all of our tools have been in our trailer over here at the storage and we've not been able to just have the things we need. And now that Eric have graded out the driveway and our pads at the property, we can now take our trailer over there, which is amazing because it's kind of going to be a test run for us. Of course, you guys know we haven't taken anything over there other than the truck and the little SUV that we have. So this is going to be a test and a tried and true day because we've never taken anything this big over our bridge. We do have a creek that surrounds our property, so we do have a bridge at the entrance. Guys, this thing has not moved ever since we parked it months ago when we got here. This is so exciting to be taking it over to the property. I gotta catch up to Eric, guys. amazing guys we have no cars to stop us right now my hands are shaking well, we're gonna make it it's just the branches scraping it's just the branches. Babe, I'm not gonna lie, I'm shaking. I was sitting there shaking. I was trying to tell you to go to the left, but then I realized that the boards were shorter on the left side than it was on the right yeah. side. Did you see how bad they were flexing over here? They were like... You should have seen from the outside where I was sitting in the car. And then once it got to the short ones, it was literally half the tire was off the short ones. As you can tell, they're even like mismatched when it comes to the length of them. He this side was fine all the parts that he changed out was fine the new side but when we got to that rotted wood it just would not take the weight of our trailer so i'm happy that eric's safe i'm happy that we got it over here that was such a crazy scary moment we just got the trailer over here and guys it literally almost fell through right here now again we're not worried about our bridge our i-beams are perfectly welded in place it's just the previous owner decided he was going to change some planks and not change the others and the rotted one decided to give way while eric was bringing the trailer over that was such a scary moment because you guys can tell we are over the creek we're pretty high up but we got it there and we're moving on and moving in so now that we have the trailer here guys we'll be able to work on the bridge all right guys we had a laugh about it and now we can actually move on but that was actually a really scary moment and that's why in the video eric is actually widening this area because we wanted to make sure our fifth wheel would get over but he actually made a really good turn in here so i'm actually really happy about that and not so much worried about bringing the fifth wheel over anymore all right guys so we got it over the bridge we have to be able to get it over this hump this is one of the major obstacles when coming into the property especially with anything big and of course until we get the driveway asphalt this is going to continue to be a problem for us Oh, that thing is shaking. <sighs> Guys, this is a lot of good practice for Eric because like I said, shortly after we're going to be bringing our fifth wheel over here and 
that's literally all we have now that we sold our both of our homes so we love that thing and this is 20 foot long guys and our fifth wheel is 44 foot long so this is good practice but this is only half of the weight and half of the length that he's actually gonna have way to go babe come on babe you're doing good Well, we just leave it and then we move it when we move the kitchen because we don't need the truck. Okay. Well, guys, at least we got half of our fifth wheel over the bridge and onto the tiny pad because this is 20 foot long and our fifth wheel is 44 foot long, so it's going to be a lot more maneuvering. So guys, I know I said that we moved in, but not quite. We actually got our enclosed trailer here from Florida, and this has been in storage ever since we came to North Carolina. Guys, it may not be our home yet, but it's actually just as exciting because this is literally everything we have left from Florida after selling everything. We just opened it, and I have to say, it actually smelled like our old home in Florida, and I got so sentimental a second ago, I almost could cry. Thank you so much for tuning in to our video and watching today. If you like the video, guys, please go ahead and subscribe. We have a lot of more content to bring you guys. We're going to be building tiny homes here. We're going to be doing a bus conversion here. We're actually going to be putting a dome here, guys. Don't tell anyone yet. But... Please subscribe if you want to see everything we do to this mountain property and how we get it listed on Airbnb and how we end up doing, guys.